Hi, I'm Ian, um, typical 29 year old. Um, I'm a local councillor in Retford in Nottinghamshire. Um, I actually leave next year. I work for uh, an armed forces charity and I'm a reservist with the Royal Air Force. I started to vlog today, uh, I've made, taken that decision um, because today something um, unexpected has happened. <laughs> um, for, for the last couple of months I've been having um, some tests because uh, I've been having some pain. And today my doctor um, called, well, well it's, it's 10 to 8 now, she called a couple of hours ago um, to tell me that I've, um, I've got a tumour. Obviously that was unexpected um, and it's a neuroendocrine tumour um, of the pancreas. Um, that's cancerous. Um, so I thought I'd start this blog. Weirdly enough, you don't you don't decide to start a blog when you hear something like that. I'm sure. Um, so I've never gone through anything like this. Um, just to list my experiences of um, how things are going to go from here um, as a sort of diary to look back on um, for me, my friends, and my family, and uh, to anybody else that. Will be going through this sort of thing in the future, and you know maybe it offers them a bit of comfort and support um, when they look at these videos. Um, they won't be daily, I'm sure, um, but they'll they'll track what happens. Um, so yeah, currently as I'm filming this, um, nobody knows other than my partner Glenn. Um, I've decided to speak to my family tomorrow, um, with my brother and sister. Um, hopefully others, and to, to my best friend Carol. Um, um, yeah. So, obviously, a lot's going through my mind at the moment. Um, I don't know a lot about cancer, <laughs> tumours and treatments, and, you know, I've already spoken to somebody at Macmillan, who were brilliant to talk about financial stuff, and, um, yeah. Um, I suppose things will start to go a bit more quickly um, after I meet with the nurse um, at the hospital next week to discuss treatment and the next course of action for hopefully um, getting rid of this thing that's on my pancreas um, and hopefully we'll, we'll go from there. Um, obviously you start to think about different things and you know, am I still going to have a job? Um, you know, can I go on holiday? Can I get insurance? Uh, you know, what are people going to say? You know, I, I really don't want to tell people. And, you know, I've, I've got to try and get Tuesday off work to meet with this nurse. And, and you know, I, I'm sure if the situation was turned on me and I, I was hearing somebody say they've got cancer, I, I don't know how I'd react. Um, I have this nervous disposition where if somebody, you know, says something bad, I, I usually laugh and I'd probably be alright if somebody did that with me, but I'm, I'm worried that I'm going to have pity and people will be upset and, you know, it, it's just worrying to think what people are going to think of you after you tell them that you, you've got this problem uh, that needs sorting out, obviously. I'm sure when a lot of people hear about cancer, it's it, they always think of the bad things, but hopefully this will be all right and uh, things will start to get better now. Um, I've been diagnosed with what's wrong with me and um, the doctors um, and nurses now know um, hopefully what, what needs to happen um, from here on in. Um, yeah. Maybe it's a good thing that I'm leaving the council next year. And um, yeah, early this morning, I mean, it was a completely different life for me, I suppose. I was thinking differently to what I am this evening. I just started um, uh, a vote um, to see how um, residents in my ward want to spend my last thousand pounds of community grant funding. Um, as of about an hour ago, there was uh, just over a thousand votes, and you know the, the local radio station and um, 
the local paper have already been in touch and there's going to be a story on, on, on how the, the money's been spent and you know I was speaking to people on Facebook and on Twitter I was, I was doing my job and yeah things are, things are a bit different now and I know I'm smiling but you know I've, I've already gone through the tears um, um, early, earlier on this evening and you know um, I suppose it's a mask um, and I suppose that mask is going to stay there for a while um, yeah, it's uh, an odd turn of events, I suppose. Um, but, you know, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. I, obviously, I don't want things to turn out to be bad. Um, but, you know, I've had seven years as a local councillor, which have been all right, you know, I've gone through my bad patches. I was the youngest mayor in the country, which was a tremendous, tremendous honour. I was chairman of the local council. I'm armed forces champion at uh, Notts County Council, which I love. I'm in the reserve forces. You know, I, I work for a brilliant charity that does a lot of good work for veterans and those that are serving. I've got one niece who's absolutely beautiful. I've got a nephew who's funny you know it, it sounds cliche but i've had a pretty decent life so we'll see what happens from here on in thanks for watching and listening see you soon